They say they don't need us. Oops. I can't tell you how I know this or who they are because that would be a spoiler. Is it even possible that I discovered something before everyone else? No huge spoilers here, nothing that would change the way you play, but if you prefer to leave the mystery of No Man's Sky Expedition 10 Singularity intact, please click away now. We'll talk about the numbers attached to all of the expedition milestones named Speak with the Autofate. Yeah, they spell out something alright, maybe I did find something. Good guys free here, with every weird, creepy and certainly cryptic message I was able to decode during the expedition gameplay. Nothing mined from game files, mind you. We're going to talk about the messages given to us by fragments of New Atlantids, about the message in the ship's panel I already mentioned in the previous video, those odd numbers we get at the monolith when... never mind. If you've played it already, you've seen it and probably waved it off as nothing. If not, now you'll know. Let's get to it. We have a lot to cover and at the end I will also include a speculation segment with some far-fetched ideas of mine. First, if you want to know how to decode such messages, see my previous video, link on your screen and in the description. These orbs that give us the messages are called Fragment of a New Atlantis. We'll get back to this, hang on to this for a bit. Now Warframe has a concept of Void Prime, but all things considered, it is more likely that Void Prime here refers to the Void Mother. Maybe also serving as a hidden shout-out to Warframe, but the two, while both enigmatic, are not very similar. We received all kinds of messages from the fragments of New Atlantids, and some people have sent me decoded messages that I haven't encountered, so there are more out there. This specific message says, a new Atlantid is coming. They appear with proper animation, albeit a very fast one, this one lasting only 13 frames. But it disappears with no hint. This message says, the whole world burned. This one says, we will never see home again. This one, out of nothing she will rebuild us. And I've had reports of other messages too. We are a lifeboat, autopilot locked, reaching destination in error years. For a complete list of findings, you can go to argatlascodex.space, link in the description. In my previous video, I showed this piece about the Echo Collective's message. What is this place? Others have found out this is related to the community research tier, and again, argatlascodex.space have the complete list. If you are not connected to the discovery servers, you will see this. The message is unintelligible. Now, if you didn't know you had to talk to Nada before the fourth visit to the Atlas, now you know. Anyway, without giving away why or what you do, you will reach a monolith and be given this text. Notice those numbers? They spell out our own. Then the dialogue continues and we see this. Together, this spells our own virgins. I'll talk about this in the speculation segment at the end of the video. Let's talk about the milestones. Each of the phases has a milestone to speak with an autophage and each one has some numbers like this one. Is that another message? Has to be. But what does it say? It has occupied my mind for a while, until I reached the final phase and was able to decode them. It says, we do not need you. But hold that thought. So all of this makes me wonder, and my speculation subprocessor starts going wild at this point. First, do you think Void Prime is just another name for the Void Mother? Or is it a shout-out to Warframe somehow? Other than having both referred to mysterious enigmatic entities, there are not many similarities. Share your thoughts in the comments, of course. Maybe Void Prime is a different entity than the Void Mother, and maybe this new Atlantid that's coming is this Void Prime. Could it have been of the same race, so to speak, of the Autophages? What are the Autophages? Were they a separate race? A hybrid? Maybe they were something in between, which evolved somehow? I believe that in the days of the great Minthar Sentinel War, when the Minthar transferred their consciousness into mechanical bodies, they had to create something that had the ability to break down the biological bodies while transferring the consciousness into the mechanical bodies. This is what I think the autophages are, and we find only the mechanical remnants naturally. Clearly the words our own virgins at a Corvax monolith refers to the Corvax convergence, right? Let me know if you think otherwise. So lastly, who does not need whom? One thing I am sure of is that I need you as a subscriber if you aren't already. First, who would write a message in the names of the expedition milestone? Hello games developers, who would they address? Us? The players? Nah. Doesn't make sense for them to say that. This phrase is highly mysterious. What group of entities does not need another entity or other entities? And ones that could be somehow related to the autophages? I suggest that the Corvax abandoned the autophages when they have fulfilled their parts and do not need them anymore. But let me know what you think. 